This is my Nintendo DS, and I like my DS how I like my coffee, hot and black. The packaging lies in this shot, the stylus is writing all by itself. It doesn't actually do that. Beneath all of these fingerprints on the protective coating is a very exciting handheld game console, the Nintendo DS Lite. Not the DSi, not the original DS, the Lite, which is lighter than the original one. It's a bit smaller, and it still plays Game Boy Advance games. I just flipped everyone off. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's my bad. Just in case you weren't sure, games are sold separately. If you look beyond the obvious facts that this thing has two screens and works with a touch screen and stylus for many games, this is, in my opinion, like the portable PlayStation 2. Because of the sheer vast number of games available for it, and the fact that it's backwards compatible with the Game Boy Advance, giving you thousands of games to play. It has a badass flip screen case, and this thing is from Nintendo, so it's built like a tank. Very rugged, I like that for a portable game console. And while it's maybe not the most technologically advanced handheld, it doesn't have the best graphics, it's not very good for 3D style games, there's a never ending supply of affordable games for this thing. Were I not filming classic game room reviews with this, I probably would have chosen a different color because the black gets fingerprints very easily. But since I film the screen, black stays out of the way. The easiest. There's a variety of different colors available for the Nintendo DS. You can even get it in pink, fellas. When it comes to styling, I actually prefer the older sibling, the Game Boy Advance SP, which I think has a better screen. And I like the design better anyway and the buttons. But uh, they both share something in common here, a protective shell, which is nice. This way you can throw it in your pocket and travel and not worry about scratching up the screen. I use little rubber feet on the bottom of all of these because I film the screens. And as this is the Nintendo DS Lite, it will play Game Boy Advance video games. Here's Mario Kart Super Circuit, an excellent one. So you pull out this little uh, protective thing that they have on the bottom of the DS here. Let's get focus. And that goes right there. After you turn on the DS, it gives you an option on the bottom screen to start Game Boy Advance game. And when you push that, it starts playing on the top screen. It does a slight letterboxing effect because of the aspect ratio difference between the Game Boy Advance and the Nintendo DS, but it still looks very good. And uh, most importantly, it works. Sadly, this does not play old school Game Boy cartridges. For that, you need an old school Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, or the SP, which is my preferred model. There's a power switch on the side here for the DS. We'll just give that a push. Turns off the game console. This is the underside of the Nintendo DS Lite, covered in fingerprints. It does not come with these rubber feet. Those are custom. And this is where the Nintendo DS games go. We'll insert the Dark Spire, my 2009 game of the year. Clicks into place. Like I said in the beginning of the review, I think the strongest feature of this thing is not necessarily the touch screen or the dual screens, but just the variety of games. Because no matter what kind of video games you enjoy, the Nintendo DS has you covered. I said the exact same thing about the PlayStation 2. The number of games is important because you don't want to be stuck with just a handful of games to choose from. I turned off the lights so that we could see the screen better. Another thing I like about the DS is that the selection of games is affordable. Even new releases are practically half the cost of other big budget releases. Used games are dirt cheap. Even the Nintendo DS itself really isn't all that expensive. Now most of the games will use the dual split screen for some kind of effect in the gameplay. Let's start the Dark Spire here. This is a game that uses it extremely well because the bottom screen has all of the information and the top screen shows you where you're moving. It's like a old school dungeon crawler. One of my favorite games, one that I play all the time on my Nintendo DS. See, there's the top screen and the bottom screen shows me my party health, 
I can pull up all my magic spells, stuff like that. Well, that guy doesn't have any spells. Let me find someone who does. There we go. Awesome. Okay, well, let's just uh, go through this door here. Here we go. I've encountered some enemies, some goblins. Some games for the DS will force you to use the stylus at all times. Others let you use the buttons, which I prefer. It's like unsheathing a sword. All right. Let's take a look at a game that uses the Nintendo DS stylus effectively and not gimmick E. We'll go with the UK release, Seven Wonders 2, a fun puzzle game, and I can play this because of the lack of region encoding on the Nintendo DS all the way over here across the pond in the US. So start the game up and show you a nice game that uh, works with the stylus. For being so small, this thing has surprisingly good sound and it's in stereo. You can also use your headphones. There's a headphone jack on the front of the console down here. There we go. This is one of their big selling points. So you just grab something lightly, slide it around. It works fairly well. Eventually you'll, you'll find that your screen gets scratched up a little bit, but it's really not that big of a deal. Here's your start and select button. There's also buttons up here on the top in addition to all of the other ones that you see. Fairly traditional Nintendo style D-pad, slight texturing in the plastic. The buttons are also slightly textured and feel nice. You can really hammer on this thing and it just keeps on working, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. The DS also has Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, where you can find friends and begin racing, battling, or chatting as easily as if they were sitting in the same room. Do you really want to even sit in the same room with your friends? Who does? That's why this has the Wi-Fi connection. Another thing that I like about the DS is that it has a clear rival, the Sony PSP. And unlike the big competing game consoles, primarily the PS3 and the Xbox 360, these two are actually different. So it reminds me of the old days when it was like Sega Genesis versus Super Nintendo. Both awesome game systems, but completely different with a different selection of games. This is the one that you get if you want bigger games with better graphics, bigger sounds, like shooting games and driving games. This is the one that you get if you like a larger library of games, more puzzle games, role-playing games, adventure games. The camera was trying to tell me something. I forgot another handheld game console. The Sega Game Gear. This is the one that you get if you want to play Sega Game Gear games. And slaughter hundreds of AA batteries. Speaking of battery life, the battery life of the Nintendo DS is awesome. Also the game cartridges or game cards or whatever they are have nearly instantaneous loading times. Something uh, that one does not. So, awesome game system. With a clear rival, the two of these give you different options. I'm sorry, the three of these give you different options. Let's make it four. The four of these give you different options. It's the Nintendo DS, one of the most popular game consoles ever created. Do you know there's more than 115 million of these things out there in the world? A lot of people like the DS, including me. It's like the light on a refrigerator. You wonder if it's always on. 